Welcome in everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I'd like to guide a practice of joyfulness. This practice of joyfulness relates to a teaching in Buddhism on what's called the four immeasurables or the four boundless states. These four are equanimity, loving kindness, compassion, and joyfulness. Joyfulness often comes last and initially it can seem uh, deceptively simple, but actually it's quite challenging. So normally what we do is we cultivate a sense of equanimity uh, first towards um, all of the kinds of relationships we can have in our life. And then from there, we develop more warmth uh, through loving kindness, um, more depth of connection towards our own pain and the pain of others through compassion. And then from there, we start to develop this quality of joyfulness. So I'll describe it a little bit, and then we'll go into a short practice on it. So joyfulness is about the joy we take in others' happiness, right? So I know this is, is maybe a bit uh, counterintuitive where it's like, oh, well, if I'm enjoying, then isn't that about my own happiness? And that's actually normally what we are um, preoccupied with is our own happiness, our own well-being, um, solving a problem that we're going through. And from the Buddhist perspective, actually, this sucks away our joyfulness, right? So I'll give you a little uh, reflection to try outside of this uh, episode. Just reflect on the last uh, problem you went through that you were really preoccupied by, where you spent a lot of time thinking about it, uh, being obsessed with it, kind of uh, being overwhelmed by it. And, you know, did it improve the more you were preoccupied with it, or did it actually make you more unhappy? So that's, that's one thing to reflect on. You know, for me personally, uh, I don't know, for you, you'll come up with your own um, answer. For me, definitely, when I'm uh, preoccupied with my own interests, when I'm sort of stuck and, you know, bottlenecked in a problem that I'm going through, and I'm obsessed with it or overthinking it, um, I'm less joyful, you know, I, I'm, I'm more unhappy. And yet when I see someone else and I can take some joy in their happiness, even just the happiness of a smile or, or laughter, um, it really does change or transform my relationship to joy. Actually, I experience this inner smile or this inner warmth. So outside of this episode, I encourage you to, to try that because once we have some uh, conviction in that, once we see, oh, that's true, um, then we can work on it, right? We can work on taking joy in all kinds of moments. Today, we're mostly going to work with um, joyfulness in relation to those close with us, and then joyfulness in like small moments in others we can see around us. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So just find a posture that's relaxed yet alert, and you can close the eyes if you'd like. If you want to leave them open, that's also fine. And we'll just take a moment to connect with a few breaths before we start the practice. So breathing in from the nose, breathing out from the nose. Breathing in from the nose, breathing out from the nose and really letting the exhalation draw out as long as you can. Again, breathing in from the nose, Breathing out from the nose. And just now settling in your feet, settling in your seat, settling in a place in the body that feels grounding for you. Great. So now I want you to imagine someone close to you. This can be a family member, a child, niece, nephew, a friend. Could also be a pet, if that's what initially comes to mind. And just let it arise in mind. Try not to think too hard about this. Just someone that it's easy to generate a sense of warmth with.
Great. So now just remembering the last time you saw them in a moment of well-being, a moment of happiness, a moment of lightness, maybe a moment of joy. And as you bring that to mind, see if you could start to smile with them internally, just a sense of feeling joy in their joy, feeling joy in that moment of happiness that you can remember they were experiencing. So for me, I'm um, thinking of my daughter and just her laugh. And when she's playful, it's just automatically, I don't have to really think too hard about it. I just feel a sense of joy. And now when that sense of joy is arising within you, we're going to encourage it. So I want you to feel it in the body. Notice the warmth that's arising around the heart, maybe the sense of uh, the hair standing up or the sense of, um, I don't know, like life coming in, lightness in the body. Maybe your, your crown is more activated or somewhere else in the body. It could be really personal. I'm, I'm not suggesting it needs to be uh, uh, where I'm feeling it, but wherever you're feeling it. And we also bring the memory up again. And so we're connecting a sense of awareness, meditative awareness, a sense of mindful awareness, sense of embodiment of feeling the joyful feeling, the memory in our mind. And we're just gently sustaining that. We're not pushing it. We're not forcing it. Just see if you can gently sustain that sense of joyfulness towards that moment of happiness you're remembering your close one experiencing. And if you need to evoke the memory again and again, that's fine. We'll just stay with that for a moment. So I want you to notice how that feels, that sense of lightness, that sense of warmth, that sense of connection. Great, so we can allow the imagery we've been evoking to now rest. And we're going to shift into a practice that we can use throughout our day. So now I want you to evoke a memory of others experiencing joy. This doesn't have to be a close one. Could be people at your workplace, people in your neighborhood, maybe a moment of lightness at a grocery store between someone who's working there and someone who was shopping. Just take a moment to remember one of those moments. And hopefully it's already coming. You're, you're taking joy in that moment. An exchange between uh, a worker at a grocery store and someone shopping at the grocery store. A smile, a joke, laughter. A warm day, a warm sunny day, noticing how happy the people in your neighborhood are. People walking in a park. someone enjoying a good meal or time with their loved one. And again, just tap into that as best you can. There's no should or, you know, perfectionism here. Just whatever you can work with. And sometimes as maybe you're experiencing, it's easier to develop joyfulness for those we're close to. But it doesn't mean we shouldn't try with strangers or people were a little bit more distant from.
Just notice what happens as you cultivate this. Obviously, there's shifts in our physiology, there's shifts in our mood, in our minds, in our thoughts. As well as for me, often there's this shift in connection where I actually feel closer to a person or a set of people, even though maybe I don't see them very often or even though uh, they could be a stranger. So again, just like we did with the previous um, example, Bring this image up again and again if you need to, and generate joy. Joy in their happiness, joy in their moment of joy. Great. So lastly, we're going to work with an aspect of cultivating joyfulness that's a little more challenging. Um, so I encourage you in this one, but of course, if you want to skip this and work with the previous two, that's fine. And when you're ready, you can work with this one. So this is related to an event or a particular situation that um, uh, frustrated us, uh, that we didn't like, <laughs> that, that uh, didn't make us feel good. Now, what I recommend here is not taking a situation that caused a lot of harm for you, just something small. So like for me, when I'm trying to sleep and uh, it's in a busy place and people are uh, talking and laughing loudly outside of my room or, or the building I'm staying in and it's keeping me up, you know, I get frustrated, right? Because <laughs> I want to sleep. But what I notice um, is that they're enjoying themselves. You know, maybe they're talking loudly and laughing because they're, they're really enjoying each other's company. They're really enjoying, you know, the jokes they're making or, or whatever they're talking about. Or maybe they've had a few drinks and they're just a little uh, more, more open and, and joyful. Whatever, whatever the case, when I start to tune in to um, the other people, they're enjoying themselves. Actually, they're, they're enjoying each other's company. Um, they're having a good laugh. They're talking about something they're interested in together. And that's creating some, some temporary happiness for them. And so, you know, in one way, I could ask myself the question, why is my joy or happiness more important than theirs? But in the other way, I could also start to just take joy in them, right? So some example like that, you can think of something like that in your life, something simple, not completely overwhelming or something that caused you a lot of harm, just something that was annoying or frustrating. And we're going to begin to practice the same thing, taking joy in that moment. Again, that moment is not now, we're bringing in a memory, but it can still be really useful, right? So I'm going to remember that, uh, people laughing, um, enjoying their conversation when I'm trying to sleep or I just want some quiet. And I'm going to take joy in them. That they're enjoying that time together, that they're enjoying uh, that moment of laughter or lightness or the topic of conversation. And again, whatever you're evoking, just take joy. Put yourself in their shoes. And this can be really challenging, so I just want to name that. If this was easy, we wouldn't need to practice it. It would be natural. So maybe you're noticing your, your resistance to that. I don't want to take joy in them. You know, they interrupted my sleep or, or whatever it is, right? That frustrated you. So just go easy, right? We're not denying ourselves. We're not also putting ourselves as a doormat. That's not what this is about. This is about expanding our view and learning to take joy in all kinds of situations in our life, joy in others. Let's just experiment with that in a light way. There's no pressure here.
Okay. So we'll end the practice again with a few deep breaths, breathing in through the nose, elongating the exhalation from the nose. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. So thanks so much for meditating with me today. I definitely <laughs> feel more joy. I'm not sure about you. Um, you may want to take a moment uh, to journal a little bit after this kind of practice or just to kind of assess what arose for you. Um, as I said in the beginning, this is a deceptively simple uh, meditation practice, but actually it can be quite challenging for us. So if it was challenging for you, there's nothing wrong with you, right? I just want to name that. This is something that you can cultivate. This is something that you can do on a daily basis. It's actually something that we can do informally when we're walking around because the moment we see joy, we can take joy in that joy, right? In that person's joy. So I hope this offered you um, some ways to work with joyfulness in your life. And if you have any feedback, I would love to know how the practice went for you. Feel free to uh, write me in the comments if you're watching on YouTube. If you're listening on Spotify and iTunes, feel free to contact me on my website at scotttusa.com. Thanks so much, everyone.